Good day friends, it is me, AJL My Tech, and I'm back once again with the ANET ET5 3D printer. Friends, I'm going to do another stress test. It's going to be PLA again, but this time it's going to be my tiny folding cube. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, if you've never seen this, this is a Kobayashi fidget cube. I have tinkered with it a ton in Tinkercad. I've got this little guy here called the banana that helps these little arches print so that when you're done, it can fold in every direction. Now I have shrunk this to crazy small. Uh, so it prints in about an hour, but then the big key is it still has to be able to move or it is not fun for the kids. I have also added the phrase, get, cracking on it, and I put HL Mod Tech on the sides. So it's totally fun, kids dig it, and when it prints well, it's awesome. So let's see if the ET5X can handle it. As you can see, I already preheated it. So let's back up, go to print, slide down the list, and find that awesome little tiny bean. And then click that OK to get it started. Alrighty friends, so we have got a finished print. Let's pull it off the printer and see how well it works. So, first things first, loving how clean this turned out. Um, I have got little supports under here that we can just pop off. Uh, these were part of the design. They're just simple cones that I attach and it just helps that show up the way it's supposed to. Uh, once again, I print on glass all the time. It's the way I roll. I like how smooth it is when it's done. This is a fidget cube, a Kobayashi cube, and when it folds, if it's perfect, it does that. And then you'll see here I've got a sweet little bean that I used from Tinkercad, and that one folds good, so so far so good. And then this one is the one that is sticky, but as you can see, the ET5X did it wonderfully. How cool is that? So my friends, there you have it. One more time, the ET5X has come through with flying colors. If you enjoyed this one, please make sure you stay tuned. There will be a lot more tests. If you've got a suggestion for a test, you can always leave that as a comment as well. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.